Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do our 30 minute low impact cardio workout for improved health. And I'm bringing you another no repeat, so that's great. I know you enjoy these ones. Lots of variety, keeping those muscles and our mind guessing here, okay? So we have 25 moves today. So the workout, the main portion of the workout will be 25 minutes and we'll include a five minute warm up too. Great. Let's get the uh, talking of the warm up, let's get the feet moving. So it's just stepping one foot behind the other. And we bring in those arms, sweeping those arms across the body. Then try not to force that heel down into the ground. Just step back on your toe. Lean slightly at the waist. Good, and let's get our breathing going now. So big deep breaths in, and then breathe all that air out. Have fun here now with this workout today. And I'm not including a water break because of the no repeats. I like just to keep that flow, but have some water handy because it's extreme. I don't know where we, about where you are, but here it's extremely hot. We're having really, really unusually warm temperatures here. So have little sips of water throughout the workout if, if, if you need it. Now we are doing our sequence today is 10 seconds to transition or have a little rest, 50 to do some work. Great, so you can always reduce that work time if it's too long for you. All right, down to 40 seconds and take 20 seconds rest. Let's do two more here. And last one, and let's do some leg curls, wake up the hamstrings a little bit. Row those arms back for me. I think as far as I remember, we do actually have some leg curls today, but I'm going to face the palms up to the ceiling when we get to that move, move 16. Good. Row back, row, row. Great, feel those back muscles working there. Just a slight retraction of your trapezius and rhomboids there that sit between your, you know, around your uh, shoulder blades. That's it, good. Go up higher if you want to, bring the heart rate up a little bit more or stay down low if you prefer. Good, great. Four to go with the arms. Three, two, one. Keep the legs going now. A little slight bend in the knee here. That's it. Great. Now really try and focus on kicking out your bottom. That's it, kick and kick, kick and kick. Great work. Good, four to go. We're gonna do some wide knee raises so that your legs going out to the front, okay? Three, two, and one now, out to the front, good. Working those hip flexors, stretching out those glutes. Great, reach and pull down to your hips. So we get that heart rate up a little bit more. Slow it down if you feel like it's a little bit too fast for your warm up. slow it down. Good, that's it, reach up. Last four, and three, two. Now hold those legs open wide, let's do some torso reaches. Again, nice and slow. If you feel your heart rate's coming up a little bit too fast. Good. Punch out in front. Feel those back muscles working. Let's hear those breaths come out as you punch out. That's it. Good. Get that breathing under control. Tap out the floor. Well done. And four, three, two, and one, now stay with the legs about hip distance apart or maybe a little wider shoulder and circle, circle. Don't fall forward, keep the chest upright. Good, reaching, reach and reach. And around the other way, that's it. Keep that chest upright for me now. Send those knees out over your shoelaces. Good, last two. And last one. Well done. Let's have a little stretch over to the side. Belly button's engaged. Over we go. Good. Stretch. Make sure your core now is nice and engaged. Reaching and reaching. Reach across and reach. Two to go. And last one. That's a really lovely, lovely stretch. All right, let's do some little walks here to get the ankles warmed up too, because we've got some lots of directional changes, lots of moves today. This is also just give you a chance to grab what you need just before we start. So 
So you need your ward. If you need a towel for sweat now, and maybe even a chair for some of the exercises. Oh yes, and that reminds me, I want to show you one of the exercises, move 17 and 18 for the other leg, it's quite advanced. So again, I'm gonna show you a modification here while I have a chance. So we, it's, it's a back lunge. So you don't, every time you hear lunge, you don't have to lunge if you have issues with it. You can have a chair handy and use a chair for assistance. It's great for teaching your lunges, but anyway, it's a back lunge or a back step. So you can just step it back if you're not lunging. Then we're going to do a kick out to the side. Rather than a pendulum or side leg lift, we're gonna bring the leg up and kick out. Now that is going to create so much force in your body that you may fall over. So you might need a kitchen chair for that or hold, put one hand on a wall, okay, or a door. So that's that move I just wanted to bring up for you because I, I, out of them all, I think that one will be, will be a, a, quite a challenge for some people. So either you're stepping back, you can put your foot down to regain balance and kick out. And you can kick nice and low if you're a beginner or you're just, your balance just needs a little bit of work. Right, let's get going. First move, keep going there with your stationary walks. We're going to go into five little squat pulses and you can do mini squats if you're not able to get down into a deep bend, okay? So you're going one, two, three, four, five, reach up. Okay, now if you don't mind impact, you can add a little jump, okay? If you don't mind, okay? I'll leave it up to you. All right, let's get going. Okay, 10 seconds to get moving, and then we have 50 seconds of work. Right, let's get into our good squatting position, okay? And keep the chest upright here. You can use your hands in prayer position to encourage upright chest. Good, four, five, reach up, and go. One, two, three, four, five, reach up. Now, if you want to get a little deeper, one, two, three, four, five, reach up. Good, one, two, three, four, five. I'm leaving out the impact because I have the workout listed as low impact. If you don't mind that little jump, go for it. Reach up, good, one, two, three, four, five, and up. You're feeling those quads burning, two, three, four, five, reach up, great, one, two, three, four, five, reach, can we keep going, a few seconds left, three, four, five, and reach, well done, shaking out those legs, now we have alternating lunge, so we're just going to, again, if you lunge and a bicep curl, if you hear lunge, sidestep it if you're not able for lunging, just step it out to the side, curl up those arms, that's it, Great. If you can get into a lunge, try that. That's good. So we're working the inner thighs here. That's it, inner and outer thighs as we step across. And the biceps here. Tuck the elbows in. Make sure they're not flaring out to the side. Bring your fists up to your elbows. That's good. Good work. And across and across. Now you can use dumbbells with this workout today if you like. This would be a good one with dumbbells. That's it, we've got some donkey kicks next and I love that, it's great glute exercise. Nice hip extension move. So you keep marching there, kick back, or you can join me if you like, kick back and we're gonna punch out the front. Another good one with a light pair of dumbbells. Right, let's go, kick. Kick. Now imagine those two sponges to, stuck to your, your, your bum cheeks there. Squeeze out the water, good. And punch, keep your neck relaxed here. Punch, punch, that's it, good. And kick, kick. Keep breathing for me. That's it, great. Come on, nice and strong with those kicks and those punches. Watch your back though, okay? Make sure that you're not, you shouldn't be feeling this in your back. You should be most definitely feeling it in your glute or your butt cheek. If you're feeling your lower back, you might have a, an incorrect firing pattern in your body, okay? Leg swings. So we are doing three on one side, three on the other. All right, let's go with that one. one two, three, switch over, one, two, three, good, other side, one, 
this is a good one for switching on the tummy muscles because whoops as you can see there now I'm falling over the obliques have to work hard here to stop you from falling over there to the side now I've rotated my foot a little bit and that really helps me to feel that inner thigh muscle more just turn out the toe a little bit arms are counterbalancing there the body good not rushing this one this one's a little bit on the slower side one two and three one two and we'll just finish that one out three now the next one one side okay we'll do the other side next knee raise wide so wide regular knee raise out to the front and then wide let's do this together good just a little bend to the side but not too much let those obliques work for you so your obliques are there to stop you from tipping over good reach now really pull your belly button into your spine and as that knee drives forward you can feel the abs working bringing in some arms good you can feel that stationary leg especially those last 15 seconds good work Whoa, this is a, a burn for the hip the hip flexor at the front great work keep going you can do a slight little c curve there to work those abs bringing rib cage to hip good just there now okay wow shake out that leg a little rest after that one okay got the other side to do now all right let's go with this one abs engaged knee out to the side now if you want to just do that little curve <clears throat> there the trunk good not too much now just bringing that rib cage down towards your hip really allows you to get a abdominal crunch while you stand you just monitor your back there how it's feeling great good working that standing leg again I feel a good stretch in my back with this one now you can speed it up and make it more cardio if you want to good we can slow it down and really feel those abdominal muscles working here now we've got some squat walks across the room next I'm going to add on a little narrow squat and reach up so you know your squat walks again if you don't want to go down into a deep squat sorry it's a narrow squat and reach up if you don't want to go down to a deep squat just stay upright narrow squat reach up so you can stay upright with this one if you want to leave the legs open reach down reach up that's another option that might flow a bit better for you okay and reach up if you want to work a little harder get those glutes firing up a little bit that's it good mix between a wide squat and a narrow squat I just really like the narrower suitcase squat I like how straight your back stays with it good reach down stretch up getting a bit of mobility flexibility for your trunk as well okay good work now we have a foot kickers so keeping the legs pretty close together high bicep curls now pretty safe to do without the weights but if you have a pair of dumbbells in your hand maybe stick with the regular bicep curl okay now curl curl the leg bring that heel up towards your bottom that's it good curl 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 well done feeling those hamstrings the back of your thighs working great and your biceps try and bring those fists towards your shoulders full range of movement good come on it's getting that body moving here get that heart rate up blood flowing around that's it now next we've got a step touch and the opposite leg is going to kick out just watch this one step touch kick step touch kick so i'm starting the step touch on the right leg left leg is kicking out that's it join me now when you're ready step touch kick step touch kick we're just going to switch the legs around for the next move 
Good. When you get comfortable with it, you can start bringing in some arms. Step, touch, kick. Step, touch, kick. You might bring in a, a chest press there. Push away. Step, touch, kick. Good. Now you can kick down low. Always remember, you don't have to be kicking up high. Kick. Good. Have some fun with it. It's a nice, fun move. You can make the move bigger once you get comfortable with it. Step, touch, kick. Kick. Good. Keep going. Come on. A few seconds left. Good work. Okay. Left over to meet right now. And then <clears throat> the right leg will kick out. All right. Let's go with that. Kick. Good. Kick. That's it. Keep your back nice and straight for me now. So try not to lean back. You don't have to push the hands out high either. You can push the hands out down nice and low. That's it. Good. Step, touch, kick. Step, touch, kick. Well done. Feeling the back of the thigh now getting very stretched here. It's great mobility. Good. It's great to get mobility into your workouts because I know we're all caught for time and a lot of us find it difficult to spend 20, 30 minutes stretching and cooling down. We should try and find the time, but I know a lot of us are caught for time. So it's good to get it into the workouts. Okay, now we've got some knee crossovers. Right, let's get ready for this one. Over and then switch your leg. Now you don't have to bring your knee up that high. If you have your chair handy, I would suggest it if you have issues with balance, put your hand on the chair. Take your time. We bring the heart rate up again. Next move. Good. You can bring your knees down lower if you have to. That's fine. If bringing your knee up, belly button height is causing you to lean back, bring it down lower. Good. You don't want to be hyperextending your spine. That's it. Good. It's a great move. Again, great hip exercise. Really strengthens the hips. Keeps them mobile, flexible. That's it. Up and over. And the more you do, the better you get at it. That's it. Arms there just kind of counterbalancing the weight of the legs. Well done. That was a nice one. Okay. Now, I did promise you would bring that heart rate up. So here we go. Sit and reach across. You don't have to sit really low. Little bounce of the hips is fine. Don't fall forward. Good. Stretch across. Stretch across. Good work. If you can get down a little deeper, that's fine too. That little bounce of the leg is going to get you breathless. And reach. Feel that stretch in your torso. It's a lovely exercise. Very bouncy. Gets those endorphins pumping away in the tummy there, fluttering away. Good. Reach across. And reach. Got some diagonal walks with a knee raise next. Good. I'm going to get you off the spot now with the next one. A few seconds left. Cross. Cross. Well done. Oh, that got me breathless. Now, diagonal walk. Knee raise, and then just the other side. Bring those arms down. Let's get some more abs in here. Diagonal walk. Good. Other side. That's it. Good. Pull those arms down. Good work. Have fun with it. It's great getting off the spot. Now, if you don't have a lot of space, just make a small V on the floor. We always say to you, as long as you've got an exercise mat space, the size of an exercise mat, a regular mat, you can get a good workout in. Good work. Keep going. Well done. 20 seconds left. Back to the middle. That's it. Good. You might find if you have room that your moves, your walks will get a little bigger. That's it. Good. And drive down. Let's make our way back to the middle now. Hold it here. Good work. Okay. Now, pendulum. So we've got one. So I've got, yeah, one both sides and two leg kickouts. That's it. Okay, let's go with that one. One, two, kick the leg out. And let's add some arms. Arms mimic the legs. One, two, kick, kick. 
One, two, kick, kick. Great. One, two, kick, kick, lift. That's it. And again, imagine that you've got two sponges stuck on the outside of your hips and your shoulders. That's it. Contract. Squeeze. Squeeze. That's it. Push forward. Push forward. Good. Don't hold your breath. Now let's hear some nice big deep breaths out there. That's it. Good. And one and two and finish it here. Great. Well done. I've got some light little jogs coming next. Very, very light. Nothing too intense. Just going from one foot to the other and rainbow arms. Now before you start, lock in the abs. So engage that core. That's it. Once those arms come above the head, your back is a little bit vulnerable. And of course, if you have issues with that, arms going above the head, come down in front of your chest. Now it's really all coming from the waist here. Let's get in tune with our body. We're just keeping the legs moving to keep the heart rate up. That's it, good. Now you can, you can, you can keep it low impact completely and just do knee raises, like our rainbow arms that we do quite a lot here. Or if you want to go a little faster, a few little jogs, feeling the waist muscles working here. That's it, good. Got those leg curls I was telling you about in the warm up coming up. I'm gonna face the palms up to the ceiling with this one. So keep marching or jogging there, or join in with me if you want to. Palms up to the ceiling, like you're holding two trays. There you go. Join in with me now. Kick out your rear as much as you can. Now when I say kick out your rear, you don't actually come in contact with it. If you're that flexible, well done to you. Good, now drive those elbows back behind you. Squeeze, squeeze between your shoulder blades, that's it. Good, palms are facing the ceiling, see those two trays? Good, pull back. So again, just changing up the angle of the hands, changes up the exercise with the back muscles a little bit. It's amazing, just the slightest little tweak can hit a different area. Good. Now we have those lunges coming next that I was talking about in the warm up. So I have that chair if you really do need help with lunges or just do step backs, simple as that. Good. Now let's get into these. So I'll just show you quickly. You're doing a back lunge, put your foot down if you need to and kick one side. Don't try and switch sides. Okay, so step back, put your foot down if you need to and kick. This will help bring the heart rate down a little bit before we bring, finish out for today. Bring it back up and finish out for the day. Kick, good. Back, lunge or step back. Kick, great. Now I really want you to give this one a go. Don't skip it. Okay, you can do it. Just step it back and a little kick. Step back, little kick. Or you could just stick to a pendulum for the time being. Pendulum, that's fine. Hold on to that chair or wall. If you can get down into a, a deeper lunge. This is wonderful strength for your lower body, even body weight. Good. I finish out my kick. There we go. Ooh, feeling that glute working. Okay, right, other side. Okay, let's go with it. So, we're either stepping back, we're lunging, Put your foot down to regain balance. Kick, don't lean too far to the side. Again, using those obliques. Let them do the work. That's it. Don't make them lazy. This will be a lazy oblique uh, exercise. So we are gonna make them switch them on, abs engaged. Don't lean too far to the side. So your obliques and your abs do their job. That's it. That's what they're designed to do. Good. Kick out, lunge back or step back, pendulum or side leg lift if you're not kicking. Because it, it is a very powerful exercise, it is advanced. So good work, you really feel the hips worked with that one now. Okay, that felt like 10 minutes of sprinting or something. <laughs> okay, now we're just doing a basic skip and it's just really to allow the hips to relax. Again, you can do some knee raises and do some ab work if you want to here. Back to this if you don't want to do any impact. 
it's only a light skip there's not a lot of impact here but of course you're more than welcome to take it up into a bit more of a <coughs> higher impact move if you want to just light little skipping allowing the hips to have a little rest before we go back and get more work for them before we finish come on use your arms here don't forget the arms that's it pump them by your side next move is a double step touch we did single step touch didn't we i do forget all the moves but uh, anyway it's double step touch oh we did we did step touch and kick the leg out next one's double if you can't do double just stay with single so I'll quickly show you so we're over and over and a leg curl again if you're having trouble just stay with singles like this and curl and curl okay i actually think it's easier to do the double with the leg curl but if you really can't do a double <coughs> step touch stay with single step touch and leave out the leg curl that's it and back kick that's it good work drive those elbows back there nice fluid movement there for the arms and you're really feeling the upper back muscles working while you do that that's it good again bringing the heel up towards your bottom and again don't lean too far to the side none of this okay again switch on those obliques switch on those abdominal muscles a few seconds left next one we're going to do two side step and two kicks out the front so a little bit more hamstring work for move 21 so arms one two kick and kick okay let's go together one two kick kick come on strong with the arms feel the contractions there for the shoulder and the chest that's it punch punch good kick down low if you're falling over that's good too your heart rate is up your breathing rate is up you are exercising your aerobic system that's good you've motivated yourself to get up out of the chair and do something I'm telling you if you could bottle that motivation you'd be a millionaire that's it good one bottle it and sell it <laughs> that's, it. that's the toughest bit even for me even for people who actually absolutely love exercising just facing that workout and saying oh my goodness i have too much to do to work out <laughs> okay little toe taps now in front of me in front of you <laughs> and then circle the arm now big circles are too much little circles will do fine let's wash the windows okay tap out the floor yeah like i was saying i have days like right just do not want to do it really really don't there's too much to do you're surrounded with housework you're surrounded with gardening you're surrounded with children wanting to play with you or wanting your attention and that you've got to just turn your blank your mind and just do it that's it just spend even half an hour let's uh, rotate those arms the other way keep the feet tapping out in front good Ooh. feeling the arms getting heavy now keep going we're nearly there now always remember you're doing this to be a better person for your mental health your physical fitness you'll be a much better person for everyone around you okay that's the way I always look at it box steps so just draw a box on the floor for me here over forward over <clears throat> and back okay you can make the box small or you can make it as big as you can okay so nice giant move over or if that's too much for you it's a little bit too much for the balance and coordination just draw a small box that's it over we go it's like our giant step overs and back so we're actually working in in uh, different planes of movement here which is wonderful for the body it's also wonderful for the brain this is like doing a crossword puzzle for the brain it keeps the brain active too that's so important across we go back and over now the last two moves we'll get the heart rate up a little bit before we finish out good great keep going come on we're just there all right well done now we've got four knee raise and four uh, fast feet okay or ten fast feet i should say four and ten let's go one two three four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one 
two, three, four. So what are we doing here? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're accelerating and deceler decelerating. What great work that is for the muscles. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, good. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Abs again. They've crept in a little bit today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, crunch. Two. Do that C curve for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Now we've got our book kickers coming back for the last move. Four of these and four toe taps out the front. Let's go with that. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and again. One, two, three, four, and tap for two, three, four. And if you liked today's workout, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up because the quicker we get the thumbs up out on the videos, the, the better it will be for the channel. So if you did like it and you'd like to see more, press that thumbs up button for me and um, we'll get that channel to grow a little bit more. That's it, good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. I'd like to say a big thank you to all of you for all the thumbs up that you do give me on the videos. Good, well done. Great work, give yourselves a big clap, you deserve that. That is great, great work. What a lovely no repeat workout. Got a good bit of sweat flowing. Feeding the, the body very worked, particularly those in around those hips. Let's bring the heart rate down. That's great. Big deep breaths for me. Just a small little step touch here. Well done. But yeah, just saying thank you so much for all your thanks and your comments on each video. That engagement on the video really does help the algorithm to know that people are on the channel and it's busy and it, it, it just really helps the channel to, to be pushed out a little bit more. I'm kind of hitting around the 40-50 um, mark with the likes. If we could get it up to 100 it would be great. It might just uh, trigger the algorithm a little bit more to push the video out to more ladies so we can be found. That's good. Let's just crisscross in front and continue to bring that heart rate down. Well done. Let's do a few little stretches for the calf there because uh, there was a lot of movements there for the legs so just feeling a little bit of tightness in one calf anyway so we'll just quickly stretch it out and let's reach up to the ceiling interlace those fingers good reach up keep your neck relaxed here push your body forward now i'm going to ask you to press your heel into the floor here now because we're doing a stretch and we're, it's a controlled stretch feeling a nice stretch for your tummy muscles too that is wonderful Good, reach up. Okay, let's switch around, gently pressing the calf muscle in. Now I'm, I'm just doing this to drop the heart rate and just take a bit of that tension out. If I'm feeling it my calf, you might be too. But um, if you want a longer cool down, I will link up my cool down playlist. You will find them all in the description box below this video, just under here, beneath the video here. That's it, reach up. Now if you're on a mobile device, you have to press the more. It says M-O-R-E. I just noticed that um, yeah, if you're on mobiles, you, it, it isn't actually, you won't see it when you scroll down, you have to press the more button. Good, if you're on a desktop computer or a laptop or an iPad, um, you probably might see it straight away, but if you're on the mobile phone, cell phone, you'll have to press that more button to find that link. Good work. Okay, let's just stretch out the trunk, I love to do tummy stretches after I've done a workout. Now, good, and there was a few of them crept in there today. So stretch it out a little bit. Watch your back here now with these side bends. Belly button in as always. Good, other side. Well done. Good work, feeling, oh, it's a lovely, lovely stretch and it's amazing how much easier it is in the heat. That's it, good. We'll just do a back stretch here. Again, I just woke up with a bit of back tension. I'd just like to get rid of it. <sighs> widen your shoulder blades. Now, usually I tell you to retract. Now I'm asking you to protract, which is just widen. Sit into your little seat here. 
push, push, push away. Feel the shoulder blades opening and parting there in the middle. Behind you, relax your neck. Oh, it's a lovely stretch. This is a nice one actually to do on a chair. Come up, let's do a little bit of protraction, retraction. Again, this is more ballistic move. Now what you're doing here is, this is a hard one to explain, you're just literally opening your shoulder blades, protracting, and then bringing them together. The arms are not doing the move, they're just kind of suspended in the air there. And it's the muscles between your shoulder blades here, your traps and rhomboids, that are doing the work for you. That's good. Reach and back. This is a nice one for you to do yourselves. Practice this yourself in a cool down. That's it. This is a great time of the year. Now, just a little tip if you want to improve your mobility and you want to improve your flexibility, this is the perfect time when the temperatures are high. If you're on this side of the world, anyway. <laughs> I know in Australia and that, I think you're going through your winters, but over here, I absolutely always spend even longer on my mobility and flexibility because of the higher temperatures and I just feel safe for getting into some of these moves because there's so much oil and sweat on the skin. I'd like to say a big thank you for joining me. Drink that water, you really do need it. Get those muscles to recover and eat well as well because you're losing electrolytes in that sweat. So eat your greens. Your greens are so important to replace that electrolytes. And I will see you in the next workout. You did a great job. Big thumbs up to you. See you soon.